I was using Bible paper to uh, print the bills on. How, how did how did you figure out how to use Bible paper? Trial and error. <laughs> I had a good childhood for the most part. Kind of got into like drugs and street life at a younger age, you know. Um, but I'd say when I was about 25, I met my ex-wife um, and, you know, kind of went straight for a while. Right. We, um, well, I mean, we, so you graduated high school. You were, what were you doing after high school? Oh, uh, <laughs> Just, I mean, you said went. Sh you went. You said went yeah, straight. Just, makes it seem you know, like you I were doing selling, something. Selling drugs. Oh, okay. That was uh, in, in in high school or after high school or in high school after high school. Um, you know, started selling weed. Not really on any like big scale. Right. And then the pills kind of hit um, Tampa area. Right. Oxys. Yeah. Um, and you know, I was selling lots of oxys and developed a, a habit, to say the least. Um, right. You know, but I, I was counterfeiting a little bit when I was younger, um, kind of toyed with it and never on, not on like a huge scale, but, you know, I couldn't get the bills perfect, but I was selling them and making a little bit of money and then did that for like a year and then stopped. Right. When you say younger, how, how young? Like 19, 20. Right. What, what were you using then? Just basic equipment over the counter? Or? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even, even recently I was using... You know, I didn't have, like, printing presses and, you know what I mean? It's all digital nowadays. Like, right. the capability of uh, digital printers has, like, advanced extremely yeah. in the past 10 years. Um, and that's what the Secret Service was, like, wondering uh, how I got the bills to look so good with just regular, you know, $200, $300 printers. But I'm a graphic designer, so a lot of it has to do with, like, breaking the images down and sharpening them right. on the digital file. Well... So, so you were basically, you were just kind of like selling drugs to make ends meet and you would counterfeit a little bit, but you said then you met your, your wife and stopped or? Yeah, I, I met, uh, my wife. Um, so we decided to move to, to Knoxville, um, cause my parents moved up to in that area. Her mom lived up in North Georgia. So we were just kind of getting out of Florida. Um, <clears throat> and I, you know, got a job in the sign business, was doing, doing good, you know, I mean, I still had a, a drug habit, but it, I've always been functioning, you know what I mean? Right. Um, kept a job and a house and everything. You know, I've got kids, so. Um, but at this sign company, I ended up wrecking a truck. So I had a newborn baby. It was like, you know, those late nights, tired. I got called into work. Um, I worked like 80 hours that week with a newborn baby at home, like not sleeping. So I was doing a service call in a bucket truck and wrecked the truck because I fell asleep at the wheel. So basically that, like, they let me go at that job because of that or whatever reason. Um, and uh, and this was like two months before our lease was up in our house, too. So I lost my job, didn't have a lot of money saved. So that's kind of what put me back into the counterfeiting thing. I was like, well, I've got two months to figure out a new house, a new house and, you know, a way to make money so i kind of just said fuck it let's go back to to this and do it on a larger scale um so i within those two months before my lease was up i basically just stayed at home on the computer 10 12 hours a day like uh you know making these digital images as sharp and clean so like uh to prevent counterfeiting you can't scan a, a picture of a bill or print one because the printer like recognizes that image and it just it'll print like just a little bit of it and then just stop. Really? Yeah. So you nice. instead of scanning the pictures, I just take a photo and then upload that photo, which kind of got around that security measure that the printers have. Um, and then like with graphic design, I would take that image and break it down to like three or four different images. So, so it would print it. So the printer wouldn't recognize the bill because you're you're taking the background color and having one image that's just the background color of the bill. And then another image with the, the serial numbers and treasury seal. And then another image with all the black work. And you're just running the paper through over and, and yeah, over again. Three, I printed three prints for the front of the bill. 
and two prints for the back of the bill. And then I uh, printed the strip and the watermark on the back of the back. So then I could then glue the two pieces together and the, you know, the strip and watermark would be embedded in them. How are you getting this strip? I just printed it. So I was using, like, and this, the Secret Service said that this was like a, a large key to my success was I was using Bible paper to uh, print the bills on. How, how, did, how did you figure out how to use Bible paper? Trial and error. <laughs> Lots of, uh, so like, I've read uh, The Art of Making Money. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, you know, he was sandwiching too. I think he What's was his name, Art? Art Williams. Williams, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I knew, um, I had a buddy who was uh, locked up with him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He oh. said when he, after, when the book came out, he said Art was walking around passing out. The, he, was, he said, man, he would was telling everybody that, about oh, the, yeah. the book and he was, um, that yeah. was a good book. It was a, it was a good book. I read it in prison. Yeah, that's what uh, originally gave me the idea to start counterfeiting when I was like 19. I was reading that book. Um, but I knew he, he sandwiched two pieces together. I think he was using like a, like telephone book paper or newsprint or some kind of other thing. I, I know paper. he had through trial and he had got – eventually I knew he was ordering the paper. Yeah. And he couldn't, he couldn't order the exact size paper that the – that the um, uh, that they were using for bills, so he figured, okay, fuck it, I'll I'll order half the size and just yeah. glue them together, and that'll give me the ability to inside of it to be able to glue the, also glue the. Um, See, I think a large portion of his uh, deal was he was trying to find paper that would mark yellow with the counterfeit pen. See, I I found kind of a way around that. So like the Bible paper was thin enough to sandwich two sheets together and opaque enough to where you couldn't see the strip and watermark through it unless you held it up to the light. So it was, and uh, for some reason, certain kinds of Bible paper aren't like bleached. So if you put it in a black light, it glows that dull purple, just like real money. Right. As opposed to like all other papers glow that bright blue, like fluorescent color. Um, so basically Bible paper was like perfect. I mean, it, it, it was opaque, it was thin, it, it glowed right in a black light. And it didn't mark with the pen, though, so I would spray it with a matte lacquer spray to create a barrier because counterfeit pens are iodine-based ink. So, like, the iodine in the ink reacts with the starch in the paper. So, by spraying it with lacquer, you create a barrier so right. there's no chemical reaction between the iodine pen and the paper. So, and, and that helped. Like, it seems like every security feature I beat uh, solved multiple issues, you know what I mean? Which was just, it, they exponentially got better every time I, so like the lacquer spray not only helped with the, the counterfeit pen, but it also gave it that crisp texture, like real thin, you know, if you yeah. spray it with lacquer and just take an iron to it real quick. Yeah, it becomes crispy. And then hold and spray another coat of lacquer from a distance, it would feel like sandpaper. And then you take it and just go on the edge of a table and it, it crisped up, and it, it knocked off that gritty sandpaper feel, but gave it that texture. People would scratch the, to feel the texture in the ink and stuff. So it so it felt like paper. It, I mean, it felt like money, looked like money. Oh, yeah. It marked. Mm -hmm. it, it, it beat the black light, and, and you could see through it just like normal money. So it was just it was basically flawless. <laughs>